Hey everybody, welcome back to Okami. My name is Fesh Games and I shall be your host forever and always, duties. Last time, we uh, made it to Ryoshima Coast. Revived the Guardian Sapling and did a whole bunch of other stuff. We also got the Double Jump ability and Digging Champ. And today, we're heading into Seon City, the capital. Doesn't look quite pretty. Huh? What the? I thought the big city would be a happening place. What's with this funky looking mist? It looks downright hazardous to your health. I wonder if people can actually live normal lives in this nasty stuff. Well, maybe, maybe not, but I want to bring something to your attention first. You see these trees right here. If you try to bloom them, I said if you try to bloom them, it didn't exactly work. There's only so much that we can do, but... Let's uh, save really quick and then talk to the villagers. Or to the citizens of the city. You get what I mean. I wonder what Queen Himiko. I wonder what Queen Himiko has to say. Has been doing all this time. She's normally there for people, even us commoners. And until now, she's been able to protect Seon City from evil. I don't understand. Why would she suddenly shut herself away? Himiko, I beg of you, please come to our rescue. Oh man, this looks bad, Ami. This is terrible! I need to deliver these letters without delay. But I'm in so much pain that I can barely stand up. The mists thickened again today, too. Oh, why does my body have to let me down today of all days? This mist does seem to make you feel sick and depressed. Ever heard of anything like that before, Ami? So we have this weird mist here. Doesn't seem like it's like killing anyone just yet, but it definitely puts people on edge, that's for sure. It makes them feel sick. <laughs> So, this is a weapons merchant. Uh, let's uh, sell our stuff first. So we got a lot of treasure to go through. All right, and now, first off, he has the seven strike, which we cannot buy just yet because we're kind of short on cash. But he does have two gold dusts for us to use on our current weapons. Let's use that uh, really quick. So we got Sumigati, and then of course the Life Beads. Uh, and also, really quick, I'm gonna equip Sumigati just so that you guys can see what it's like to wield it. We've been waiting on it long enough to show it off. <laughs> P 
Pay attention to what he says here. The price of fish has gone through the roof. If you have some fish and have not sold it yet, um, you can definitely, like, buy, you can definitely sell your fish here for a better price. Uh, there are some things here that we're gonna need to progress the story. Uh, blinding snow we're gonna want, and then the marlin rod. Um, also the herbal medicine and the charcoal. Those are all gonna be for side quests later. Trust me on this, you'll want to get them. Alright, so let's explore the city just a bit more. Uh, yeah. It looks like this is not good. You step into this, guess what? It's a curse zone. You can't exactly step in here, and there's limited sp spots on where you can go. But, um, best to go through and get most of these chests now. Uh, just because eventually these will be refilled with water. Speaking of which, stray bead right there for free. <laughs> Our first of many in Seon City. Go through this one, get a vengeance slip here. It's just a line of chests. Incense burner. Bullhorn. A steel soul sake. A mermaid coin. A lacquerware set. <laughs> That's about it. Maybe. Oh wait, no, I missed one. I was gonna say, I knew there was one more. It's a coral fragment. All of this is, tr is just selling fodder. Aside from the stray beat, of course, but you know. Alright, so we want to talk to this guy right here. Uh, what's going on? I don't know what came over me. I, I had this incredible sudden pain. Now I'm stuck here like this. I can't move an inch. So useless, like useless, useless, useless. If I don't get to work on the canal with him with the boss, we won't be able to get the water flowing again. What am I going to do? I knew it, Ami. This is no ordinary mist. I mean, it's all over the city and won't go away. It's downright unnatural. Seems there are still some people who are unaffected. And who knows what will happen if this continues a few more days. Let's see if we can find the boss, shall we? Alright, we get an exorcism slip ass. And it looks like curse that confounded water dragon from causing such a commotion. How can the god of the sea be running the peace, ruining the peace like this? I bet that dragon. I bet that dragon is to blame for the state of this canal too. All that fuss has caused the lake to plug itself up. Has caused to plug itself up. Hey, Ami. Looks like there's trouble over here too. Seems the whole city is a complete mess. Oh, did you come here for a drink or a drink of water, Wolf? I'm afraid there's it's completely dried up. This canal is real is a really uh, 
was a really important source of water for us. That's why I'm digging the hole to see if I can tap into it again. So many people here are sick now. That's hardly anyone's end. So many people. Why can I not read? Maybe taking a sip of water will help. Okay. So many people here are sick now that it's hardly there's hardly anyone to help out. In fact, I'm the only one left. One lowly carpenter. But I'm determined not to give up. You get quite a fit doing my job. Now I can re You get quite fit doing my job. Now I can reap the benefits. I built almost everything you see here in Sagon City, you know. So there's nothing that I don't know about the place. Wanna know where the key to this water source lies? It lies in Lake Biwa's drain plug. You certainly seem to listen well for a pooch. Maybe I should tell you more about how Lake Biwa's plug then. Seon City is floating in the middle of Lake we Le Le Lake Biwa. The water from it is what from it is what fills the canal around the city. But the, what the but the water dragon's antics have made the uh, plug the seal up. No wonder the canal is dried up. And that's why we're in this sorry state now. I'm sure the plug is located beneath this area. If I can dig my way to it, then the water should come gushing out. It's pretty exciting, don't you think? So then, maybe you could help me out? Yes. It's a shame wolves can only answer with their eyes. In case you guys haven't noticed, yes, we have another digging minigame. Oh boy. Yes, I understand. I know, I know. Let's get digging. Alright, so... This is our second one that we have to do in terms of progressing the story. So, what we want to do is go this way, wait for Nagori to come back down, power slash you, and then when he comes down, ah, uh, oh, shoot, I already screwed that up, didn't I? Start over. Um, I may not have practiced this before before uh, going in. That was my bad. <laughs> All right, so Over. I'm going in the right direction though. Not giving that a chance to go.
There we go. Okay. Wait for him to come and then blow him across. No! Stop it! we go now we're at the bottom okay right, and move faster there we go that one's more tame than the other ones are <laughs> And we return the water to Seon City. Seon has had his fair share of hardships lately. The water dragon on the rampage and that strange mist all over. But it matters not what trials present themselves to us. If we solve them one by one, we will emerge unscathed. I suppose my work here is done for now. Thanks, Wolf. You did a good job. All right. So, right inside his house, I think there's something here. You just find him eating food. All right, so that's the case. I will meet you guys back. Um, wait, 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 can I jump from? Aha! Yeah, buddy, platforming, and I did not mean to do that. Sell all of that. And then, what we want to do... Let's go straight on through from the aristocratic quarter to the bridge. The city's bigwigs live across the bridge ahead. That area is crammed full of awesome palaces. One of them belongs to Queen Himiko, ruler of Nippon. You can tell because it's really huge. I have no idea what she's like, but I'm not sure I'll like her. I mean, she doesn't seem to be doing anything about this mist. Plus, I make it a point to never trust queens in the like anyway. Welcome to the aristocratic quarter. And it looks like we meet somebody new. Oh, <laughs> 
And this is one of the things that we needed in order to progress the story. Blinding Snow! Meaning we have another fishing minigame. Alright, so let's get started, shall we? here needs help catching something called the living sword. Okay, Ami, you got the basic idea, right? Draw a line from the tip of the pole to the fish. I don't know exactly what we're fishing for, but don't let it get away. Alright, so same as usual. Alright, want to make sure that... different stuff here. It's gonna sound like a freaking motor, but hey, you know, that's just how it is. Alright. Another... Is this another killfish? Oh, it's a smelt. Okay. And then the big boy. Man, that's a big boy. Aw, don't take it so hard. I mean, that was one big cutlass fish. And a cutlass is a kind of sword, isn't it? Plus, what are the odds of catching an ocean fish in a lake? 
Mistaken, there should be something here. There's a chest around this side. Somewheres. Maybe it's a little farther out, but we'll see. Um, I could have sworn there was a chest around here. I think we'll just come back for it later. It's okay. Alright, I'll meet you guys at the back of the other side of the bridge. So back up here, we can now go across to the other side. And it looks like that mist is origi or originating from somewhere. Whoa, stop, Ami. I thought this mist was coming from the lake or mountains. So what's that stuff rising from the Imperial Palace? Let's keep going, Furball. And of course, look who showed up. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. What took you so long, Machete? Uh, not you again. Well, you can't fool us. We're not gonna forget what you did to us back at Orchie's cave. And why do you keep popping up wherever we are anyway? What are you up to this time? Hmm? Excuse moi but I have no time to follow you around. You see, I'm busy looking for something. Ugh, some prophet you are. Didn't you already know where to look? Well, maybe look isn't the right word. I already know where it is, it's just... Getting there is proving to be a bit of a problem. Suffice it to say, I want it quick and easy. Quick and easy? Wait a sec. Don't tell me you're behind this funky mist. Is this part of a plan to conquer the city and take over the world? You're always up to no good, so I wouldn't be surprised. The world? Not bad, my little bouncing friend. You're only half wrong. I seek the other world. I desire a path to the heavens. A path to the heavens? Oh, stop beating around the bush and let us know what's on your mind! <laughs> this path concerns you too, Machete. Huh? This city is in quite a bad state, is it not? Especially this ghastly mist that torments its people. You think we're stupid? We see right through you, pretty boy. Ha! Huh. 
We got you all figured out. This funky miss in your so-called path to the heavens? You're in cahoots with Queen Himiko. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So just take it step by step. You must first deal with this mist. It is slowly but surely killing the people of this city. Wait too long and it's au revoir. The damage will already be done. Why are you talking about it like it's someone else's problem? You're behind it all. Admit it already. Even if I was, what good would come out of arguing about it here? Me thinks she should be doing something about the mist now. How about a tip this time instead of a prophecy? Go through the hole in the wall, little ones. <laughs> Let me put it this way. Even the most solid defense has a tiny gap like the eye of a needle. Or something like that. Understand, Marchetti? Okay, that's basically the same thing. Alright, so... Waka wants us to look for a gap in their defenses. I wonder how much, how much, I wonder how much longer it'll be until it's my turn. This horrible choking mist is driving me crazy. I'm lucky if I can get any work done at all lately. I have to come and see Rao at, one, at least once a day to stay sane. Rao is the head of Anoku Temple. Ankoku Temple, outside the city. But she's come all the way here to help us. She's always making the effort to come when we need her. And she's extraordinary, extraordinarily beautiful too. I feel a thousand times better just looking at her. Uh... Uh... Hi, Mr. Chairman. Are you looking for pick pick carrots? Just, just, just asking if you're, like, looking for something other than pick. If you're looking for pick pick carrots or something else. <laughs> Literally, the guy looks like the chairman in Pikmin 2. <laughs> I came to listen to Rao's sermon today. My old back's been terrible since that weird miss came along. But Rao's sermons make me feel better in an instant. Well, let's go see this infamous Rao. Alright, so we got some chests here. An exorcism slip M. We obtain Land of the Gods. Okay. I'm gonna save really quick. Alright. And this appears to be her. Let's talk to her. Well, who'd have thought there'd be a wolf in here of all places? The world is in turmoil. Have you come to listen to one of my sermons, Wolf? Then, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Rao. I'm the regent of Seon City, appointed by Queen Himiko herself. So, what's troubling you then? Holy cow, this sister's stacked. Excuse me? Oh, you've got a cute little fairy with you. Name's Isu. And by the way, it only looks like I'm staring at your melons. Oh my gosh, Isu! Um, melons? Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, so you're running things around here? 
Well, there's a funky mist covering the city. And there's talks of a water dragon or something offshore. So what's up with the queen holing herself up in her palace? The people of her city are dropping like flies, you know. How could she be so lazy at a time like this? So you sense the evil forces over Ryoshima too, then? I heard that dreaded Orochi was resurrected in Shinshu Field. Though, a brave swordsman vanquished him again. The ripples of those waves of chaos are reaching Ryoshima, too. The water dragon terrorizes the sea, and an ill mist covers Seon. And in these last few days, the situation has intensified. I don't know what's happening to our peaceful Nippon. She said something about waves of chaos growing stronger recently. Hmm. A creepy shadow did scurry off when we defeated Orochi. I wonder if whatever it was took root here on Ryoshima Coast. What are you muttering about, Isu? Well, this will no doubt come as quite a shock, but... The Great Slayer of the dreaded Orochi is right before your eyes. Behold, the Great Amaterasu. What? This wolf? But I heard it was a swordsman called Susano. Huh? Oh, uh, well, he, he may have dealt the final blow. But Ami here did most of the work, I tell you. And if you don't believe me... Ami's gonna show you some divine powers right here, right now. Um, when will I see your friend's divine power then, Izu? You want it? You got it, sister. Come on, Ami. Show her one of your celestial brush techniques. Uh, well... <clears throat> there are two different things that we could do. Well, actually, three. Uh, but we're gonna go anime pro tag and just like have a sudden what gust of that? wind. Oops. You like it? That was one of Amaterasu's divine powers. A mere taste of what the Celestial Brush can do. Celestial Brush? What a mysterious and fearsome power you wield, Amaterasu. You got that right, sister. There ain't nothing Ami can't do. Maybe this wolf... Maybe this wolf could help me with my quest. Your quest? What more could you want? You're already stacked to the ceiling. <sighs> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Now that I've lost my prayer slips, the situation is completely hopeless. Come on. Tell us what you want. It doesn't matter. Just forget about it. I have many favors I want to ask now that I've seen your powers. But without my prayer slips, there is nothing anyone can do. Oh, wait. Yeah, no, that was the same thing. <clears throat> well, we now have to find Rao's prayer slips. Well, we could do that now. We've been recording for a bit. So, with meeting her, I say that we're going to end this episode off here for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this episode, please hit like. And if you really liked this episode and haven't done so already, please consider hitting that subscribe button below my name. My name is Fetch, and I'm signing out!